this is going to be a rescue. And the reason I say that is because down here at the bottom, uh, see the bubbles? This was one of the tumblers that had the ridge around it that, uh, you know, like this is a separate piece sort of where it's kind of put together. Anyway, um, yeah, long after I had resined it, it blew bubbles. Now, it didn't have the bubbles um, probably for the first four hours I had it on the turner. Why this happened after, I do not know. But what I do know is that there was some pretty colorful language when I discovered it. We're going to make an attempt to save this. Now, this piece right here is... That's deep, not good. So I'm gonna show you how I take this down to a certain point um, and clean it out. And I will put some UV resin into the huge divots and there's gonna be some huge divots. This, this baby's pretty big itself. If You can see it from the side there. But I'm also going to show you how I clean up on the top here. Now, this, this can be avoided if you use your electrical tape on the top. I don't normally, when I go to put my um, epoxy on, I don't leave the tape up there because I like to have just a little bit come above my design to um, seal it to the stainless steel part. So this is not uncommon. And I'm going to show you how I trim that off of there without damaging, hopefully, <laughs> the tumbler. So sit back and, and just kind of watch and see. And I'm not going to make you watch that whole part. I'll clean the rest of it up after. But I want to show you because this is such a deep mess there. I'm using a file. This is just a file that I've used for lots of different things. So this is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to go right on there. And I know you're probably thinking, oh no, what is she doing? This, it's either this or I strip the tumbler. I want to try to save it. And so that's, that's the point we're at. I've just got it on a, an old dishcloth. Um, to kind of give me a little more stabilization here. But, as you can see, I'm getting right down on there. And this is a full-fledged file. This is not an emery board. So, sometimes you just have to pull out the big guns. clean that up. I want to show you this end and show you what I do to take off the overage that flows up there. Because that's not, I'm going to tell you that's not difficult, but yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows what it's going to want to do to me today? All right, so I've got my X-Acto blade here. And I'll leave it on this. I'm just turning on my um, embossing tool and I'm going to just slightly warm this. I'm not going to make it super hot. It's not going to turn liquid, but it is going to be noisy. And that's all I'm going to heat it. 
and then you see it's not so hot that uh, I can't put my finger on the uh, stainless steel. Now I may have to heat this more than once. Once I get my cut in there, I tend to want to go a lot further than what I heated. Because I'm just like that okay now I'm gonna want to go to where I need to stop which is right there and I just follow the line around no I'm not sure that that's gonna be enough Let me heat it a little bit more. Doesn't want to let loose. And see, it'll it'll pull up. So that you don't have to scratch the living daylights out of that upper lid, or lip, I should say, up around the rim. And that might allow me to pull that. And you just you just have to be patient. It will it will come off. It's not uh, it's not the end of the world. This definitely wouldn't make this cup trashable. So there we go. That's that's that part. That's the easy part. This is the stand back and say funny swear words part of it. I'm going to dig in here, get this cleaned up, and we will come back and I will show you how I'm going to use the UV resin in there to bring this level again and hopefully we will salvage this tumbler because it'd be a darn shame because it really is pretty fingers crossed that we're going to get this to a point where it's going to be salvageable stay tuned we will be back in just a second okay we're back I have cleaned up this mess as best I can and I went in there and scrubbed it all out and everything and hopefully I got all the dust particles and this is the UV resin that I'm going to be using. Um, I've used it several times and it works really well and of course this is my UV light or lamp. So what I'm going to do is rather than just 
pour it directly in there. I am going to put some in a medicine cup and drop it in with a toothpick. Hopefully that works. If not, I have some of these um, pipettes and if I have to, I will put some inside of a pipette and put it into the deeper holes. So, wish us luck. Let's see how we do. Now, you want to keep your UV resin away from your UV light if you've never used it. That's one of the things that you want to make sure of is that it's not in direct um, contact with that with the, the light shining through or it will harden right in your container. We will be back to inspect after we get a couple more coats of resin on this. And if you're getting any information out of this, um, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I try to share as much as I can with you. We'll be back shortly. And I want to show you just what this nasty tumbler did. I'm going to go around the bottom. You know that I filled in with UV resin. And all of that was great. Do you see that right down there at the bottom? Right there. Yeah. But that's not the end of it. Wait, here it comes. Way over there on the side, do you see that little lump sticking out? Yeah, it blew new bubbles when I put the next coat of epoxy on. Um, I'm here to tell you that as far as I'm concerned, this tumbler must have had a flaw in it. Not because, not because I did it and I expect that I'm perfect, but I believe that it had a flaw in it because there's no way after all the UV resin that I put in there and this was the um, second coat of resin I put on here and that's what I was getting is, is just stupid little bubbles like that. So, aside from the fact that it did that, it really does have a pretty design. I'm not going to bother to strip this and try to do it again because obviously there's something wrong with the tumbler. But I wanted you to be able to see it finished. I'm sorry about the glare. Yeah. So this is what we wound up with. I still think it's pretty. Um, I think the tumbler itself is garbage. And I'm not going to try to use it for something else. There's no strip in this and, and whatnot because I do believe there is a leak in the seal. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. But this is what homemade items sometimes present themselves as. And I wanted you to see that. So thanks for hanging in. Until next time. Toodles.